All right, in this problem, uh, we're looking for two different things. We're going to determine the acceleration as we have done normally for each of the problems. Then we're going to determine the final speed. So for this problem, let's do it like we've started every other problem. We'll read through it. We'll write down what we know. A basketball star exerts a force of 3,225 newtons on the gym floor. So that is the force applied. He is exerting that force. So it's going to be our applied force, 3,225 newtons. And he has a mass of 76.5 kilograms. And he's going in an upward motion. Time is equal to 0 0.150 seconds. And we're solving for acceleration, and we're solving for the final velocity. So VF, or sometimes you'll see it as V2. Um, we're solving for these two things. So, as usual, we need to draw our force diagram so that we can represent um, all the forces. So he has an upward force of 3,225 newtons. We need to calculate the downward force, the gravitational force. So force of gravity is equal to 3,225 newtons. Uh, excuse me, not 3,225 newtons. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, the force of gravity is equal to mass, 76.5 kilograms times 9.8 9 .8 meters per second squared. And when you multiply those numbers together, you will get 749.5 newtons. And that is our force of gravity, 749.5 newtons. Now, uh, looking at our phase, our phase diagram, our force diagram, notice that I did not draw a, a friction force or a force applied or a rightward force. Uh, that's because we're talking about a player that is going in an upward direction. Okay? If he's going upward, we don't have to account for the friction force um, or the directional force here. So all he's doing is jumping upward and then he's coming back down. And we just needed to calculate the force with which he jumped, which was given to us, and then the force of gravity, which is the force that gravity is exerting against him as he jumps. So now that we have these two forces, we're able to calculate F net so that we can then solve backwards for the acceleration. So the net force is equal to 3,225 newtons minus 749.5 newtons. So the net force is equal to, once you subtract those numbers, 2,475 point three newtons, excuse me. Now, oh, excuse me, not point three, point five newtons. Now, F net, uh, we will use F net to solve for acceleration using our F net formula. F net is equal to mass times an acceleration. We have mass. We don't have acceleration, and we just solved for F net. So let's plug into our formula that there are 2,475 newtons, 0.5 newtons of F net is equal to the mass, 76.5 kilograms times the acceleration. When you work that out, 2,475.5 divided by 76.5. You'll get 32.4 meters per second squared. 32.4 meters per second squared. And that is our acceleration. Now, you guys may be wondering, what are we going to do in order to calculate our final speed here? We have a time... We now have an acceleration, we have mass, and we have applied force. The things that we're going to need to look at now are going to be time and acceleration. There's a formula that you guys should know 
um, acceleration is equal to uh, v2 or velocity final minus v1 or velocity initial divided by time. We can rearrange this equation to mean or to represent uh, in terms of final velocity that v2 is equal to v1 plus acceleration times time. So we're going to use this formula to solve for the final velocity. So v2 is equal to v1 or vi, the initial velocity, which in this case is just going to be zero. He was at rest. If it doesn't say um, that he had an initial velocity of, of 0.5 meters per second or 1 meters per second, we're just going to assume that he was at rest. Perhaps he was getting ready for a rebound, something like that. He was standing still when he jumped. So he's going to have an initial velocity of 0 meters per second. We're going to add it to the acceleration that we just calculated, 32.4 meters per second squared. We're going to multiply that number by the time, which was 1.150 seconds. Now, V2, once you multiply everything through, we won't need the zero meters per second. When you multiply everything through, you should get a final velocity of 4.85 meters per second. And that is our final answer. So we have solved for the acceleration and we have successfully solved for the final velocity. This problem indeed had a lot of steps. You initially had to start with the force of gravity, solving for the net force, and then ultimately using the F net is equal to mass times acceleration to backwards solve for acceleration. Once you had the acceleration, you were able to go in and using the acceleration formula, solve for that part of the formula, velocity final, using this equation. Then you just had to plug in some numbers, and then you are able to get the final velocity.